Britain's about a lot of things, really. I think the part that excites me the most has to do with helping people keep in touch. The idea behind Newton is that it's an assistant, something that actively helps you as you capture, organize, and communicate your ideas and information. The possibilities are just limitless. When you think about it, the most natural way to get your thoughts down is to jot or to sketch. We wanted Newton to be that natural. It can either leave what you write in electronic ink, or it can clean it up and organize it for you. I don't know about you, but I can't draw to save my life. But with Newton, it's a completely different story. People said to us, wouldn't it be great if you could design something that would allow you to take notes in your natural way and have Newton format them for you? So that's what we did. Newton's intelligent enough to take your messy notes and sketches and turn them into a letter. It'll even put graphics where they look best, and in general make the letter look more professional. From there, all you have to do is plug a printer into your Newton, and you're off. When you're done, Newton even has a smart way of getting rid of your trash. Say you're on a train or a plane or at a little cafe. You can write a fax. Say you want to send that fax to Margaret. You just highlight Margaret's name in the text, tap fax. And Newton will automatically fill out a fax cover sheet with Margaret's number on it. We've built in Newton intelligence so that Newton knows enough about what you're trying to do to help you do it. The beauty of Newton is that any page you have in your Newton can be sent through email text, graphics, pages from your calendar, business cards. You just select email and, well, you send it. Simple as that. It seems to happen all the time these days. You're expecting a really important message, but you can't guarantee you're going to be easy to reach. By just getting the Newton messaging card, you can get your message wherever you go. You can share anything that's in your Newton with anyone else. Using Newton's built-in infrared networking capability, you can beam things to other people. It's pretty handy in meetings to just be able to send someone something instantly. Your business card, or the notes, or a calendar page. But Newton's even smarter than that. Everything's interconnected. You can get a message that someone wants to schedule a meeting with you. You can ask Newton to assist you. Newton will automatically put it on your calendar. You can even jot notes to jog your memory later or set an alarm. Or add a task to your to-do list. Kind of a communication center or a universal inbox and outbox. I have way too much information in my life. I keep a calendar on my desktop computer. I keep a Rolodex file on my desktop computer. The Newton Connection Kit lets you connect your Newton to your PC or your Macintosh and share and store information. But it even comes with software that makes sure that the most up-to-date information gets put in both places. For example, if there's new calendar entries on your PC, they automatically get booked on your Newton, and vice versa. This is all about being in charge of your life, being able to have information so you can keep in touch with people. It's going to help you keep track of your time and your contacts but it's gonna do it in a way that's not intrusive to your lifestyle. I'd say that Newton is really peace of mind, right in the palm of your hand. You know, one of the best things about Newton is that it can understand your handwriting. That's pretty remarkable when you think about it. Now, some people find that it takes a little bit of practice. So, in the next couple minutes, we're gonna show you a few tips and techniques that'll make it even easier for Newton to interpret what you're doing. What's incredible is that Newton actually learns how you write. As you use Newton, it learns and adapts to your personal style. The result is that your Newton will fine tune itself to your handwriting better than anyone else's. And one of the key things about Newton is that it looks to recognize entire words instead of individual characters. And because it's looking for words as opposed to letters, it's important to write neatly and not pause in the middle of a word. If you pause in the middle of writing a word, Newton thinks you're finished and tries to recognize what you've written. And if you're finished writing a word, don't go back to improve on your handwriting or correct it, even if Newton hasn't recognized it yet. When you go back, it throws Newton off. And that's because Newton figures out what you're writing based in part on the timing and sequence of your handwriting. When writing a sentence, leave some space between the words, even exaggerate it a little bit. 
So Newton can tell when you finish one word and started another. If you write two words too close together, Newton may read them as a single word. Finally, an important and very basic technique is to just write as simply and neatly as you can. Be sure you cross your T's and dot your I's, make your O's look like O's and your A's look like A's. It's common sense, really, but it makes a big difference in how well Newton can interpret your writing. You know, Newton's pretty smart, but it's not always going to get your handwriting right. Like anyone, it can make mistakes. If it does, it's really simple to fix. If Newton gets a word wrong, tap on the word twice, you'll see a list of its best guesses. Find the right word, select it, Newton corrects the mistake. There's over 10,000 words in here. There's a lot of words Newton knows. But certain kinds of words, things like last names, street addresses, they're not going to be built in. When you write one of those words, Newton's going to give you its best guess. Here's the cool thing. You can teach Newton new words. After you write a word and you want to teach it to Newton, just double tap on the word. Then tap the keyboard icon. Now you can enter the word. Newton will ask you if you want to add it to your word list. Tap yes, Newton remembers the word. The next time you write it, Newton gets it right. Now if the word's only slightly misread, let's say one letter's off, no problem. Just write the correct letter on top of the one you want to change. Scrubbing is the way that you take and delete a single word or a single letter simply by stroking up and down through it four times to make it disappear. Make sure the zigzag is taller and wider than the word or letter that you've chosen to delete. You can select a word first so Newton knows exactly which word you're trying to scrub. You select a word like you do anything else on the screen. Hold down the pen for a moment until a heavy mark appears, then draw through the word to select it. You can review all these tips and techniques on the quick reference card and the handbook that came with your Newton. You're ready to try your handwriting on Newton. There's two great places to start. The Game on the Getting Started card and the Handwriting Practice Area both let you write words on Newton and learn more about how Newton recognizes your handwriting. As you write, you're giving Newton information about your style. Newton takes that info and learns and keeps track of how you write. Your setup guide has instructions on using the Getting Started card. So why don't you go to your setup guide now and get started? <laughs>